hi guys i have not been on youtube posting any videos for a while but i was just sleeping i woke up and when i was praying it came in my spirit that i should speak about the scourge of the tongue which is just negative things coming out of your mouth negative utterances that we make at times with sometimes no intention to be negative towards someone but we make these utterances and they have so much implication on someone's life now i want to read um proverbs 6 12 to 16 it says a naughty person a wicked man walketh with a forward mouth he winketh with his eyes he speaketh with his feet he te teacheth with his fingers forwardness is in his heart he devises mischief continually he soweth discord therefore shall his calamity come suddenly suddenly shall he be broken without remedy these six things doth the lord hate ye seven are an abomination unto him so what i just want to quickly come on and speak about is just using our tongues especially the persons are saying there's this this phrase that another person use over my dead body it is a vowing power you're vowing that something won't happen to someone over your dead body and most times when that is said it is said in with anger resentment and bitterness and it's like you are making an agreement with the enemy that this will not come whatever it is that you're vowing for the person will not happen once you are alive right and sometimes it's just so anger as i said you're just angry at something at someone at, at the time and hence you, you make that that statement but it has such a negative implication on someone it can literally put a hold on someone's life it can put a hold on someone's destiny so you make a, a statement over my dead body she now got rich or she now got have money and she, the person find that they are financially struggling over and over they don't know what is it Sometimes it's the whole family, you have a disagreement with them, you say, you're over my dead body and I'll get this. And you don't understand that the, the, what you placed over the person's life. And sometimes without the intention to do it, what you already made the vow, because that vow is not to God, that's a vow, that's a covenant, that's a, to, to the enemy. And you've put a hold over someone's life. I know this person is living and they're not able to achieve because you made that negative scourge you made that negative utterance and it, the enemy holds on to it and says see there if someone has made this negative pronouncement over them and they did it with a stronghold because you have different strongholds bitterness anger hatred resentment you did it out of hang, anger bitterness hatred or resentment to someone sometimes you really don't hate the person but you know we love to say we hate these are the things that hold down people these are the things that cause strongholds in people's life and you can't get a breakthrough and you're saying why and it also affects you so it affects you and it affects the person because the word says life and death is in the power of the tongue and they that that love it will eat, pretty, you'll eat the fruit of your choice you choose death you're going to eat the fruit of it so you may you pronounce death over somebody else's life and death don't necessarily mean a physical death it can mean a spiritual death. it can mean different types of death like a death in their finance a death in their sickness in their in their health so like you pronounce it infirmity pronouncing poverty over people which also will in turn help um affect you but let us speak about you doing it to other people maybe ill um without intention don't do it be careful of the things that you say out of your mouth because it can cause a negative impact on people so that's all i just wanted to share with you just be careful of what you say out of your mouth against someone else's life because it really can be a matter of life and death life and death to that person so guys just be kind to people be kind with your words be as the word says um get rid of bitterness rage and anger brawling and slander all forms of malice and be kind one to another tender-hearted forgiving one another what you should do if someone does something to you bring them to god for mercy god said to god i bring them to you because you're a merciful god don't bring them to god for judgment don't cause judgment on them don't cast judgment on them because as the word says you know if once you are merciful you will obtain mercy because there are times that we need mercy we may do things that we're not really mean and people judge me wicked harshly 
don't do that to other people just be kind just be kind and just, and just give people grace because sometimes people going through some things and hence the reason they do what they do give people grace so again as i said just be kind to people think good things good things about people and also resist negative things when people are pronouncing negativity against you resist it them say i do not accept it it may seem simple but pronounce say it out of your mouth you don't accept negative things and pray all the time to block negative words from your life all right be kind be kind guys